Andre, it's been uh, six months. I know you probably like to fight every week if you could. Uh, so has this time away been a good thing or has it been a bad thing? I think a good thing. Uh, I had a lot of things to work on. Um, I've been relying on my boxing a lot, over being overconfident. I wasn't in good shape last fight. Um, so I think it was good. I needed a reset. I had a lot of things going on in my life too that I needed to get away from. So I think it was good. Nice. Uh, was it difficult to come to that realization? I mean, at this point in your career to say, I've, I've, I'm, I'm short on some things, I've got to change some things. Is it tough to change, you know, kind of this far into your career? I don't think so. Um, I think I just got overconfident and I thought my, my hands were enough. But uh, as the level gets higher and people study me, if they did just expect in my hands, it's easier for them to defend and to have a game plan for it. So, no, I don't think it was hard. And I, I, I guess I had some of those weapons already, but uh, just been working on it more and more. Nice. Well, you're back now. Uh, Joaquin Buckley as an opponent. Uh, on paper, it looks like it could be a very fun fight. Uh, what do you think about him as an opponent? Well, I love it. Uh, I think it's a great fight. It's very dangerous, very explosive, great athletes. But uh, I think he, he's not very smart, I should say, fighting. He doesn't have a great IQ. I can say I have used my IQ in the, in the fight as well, but I've been working on my patient a lot. I want to be patient this fight, and I want to use my IQ because I, I believe I'm a very smart fighter, but I, I haven't been able to show it on the cage. Yeah. Has, that, has that been something you've been working on, like in sparring? Like, it's easy to say, like, I'm going to be patient, right? And then somebody hits you, and you're like, ah, I'm going crazy. Yeah, that, that's, that's something that always happened to me in the fights. I only think about the attacking and what I'm going to do to them. So when I get that, I get exposed, I get tagged, and then that's like you said, I just want to hit them back and get in that fight because I have that dog in me, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I've been working that on the sparrings a lot and uh, recording, watching myself. Something that I de haven't done before, I, I've been watching him as well, um, seeing his, his striking, seeing what, what his tendencies are. Um, so, yeah. I'm excited for this one. I'm in great shape, and uh, I can't wait to perform Saturday night. He's changing weight classes, of course. Do you factor that in at all? Like, do you think you know how that's going to make him different than what you've seen on tape by the fact that he's coming down? Not really. Uh, he might have. He gets tired because he likes to brawl. He likes to bang. He's very athletic. He uses his power a lot. Maybe the weight cut is going to make him a little tired as well. I don't know, but uh, he used to fight at 1-7 in other organizations. We were supposed to fight in another organization that weight. So, no, I'm expecting the best Buckley. I just got to be smart, um, be my best self. So you're talking about being smart, you're talking about being patient. On paper, it looks like it's going to be like a crazy fight. Like, do you think you're going to be able to stay smart and patient through three rounds, or do you think at some point it's, it goes a little crazy? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be patient the first minute or two, and then uh, I want to impose my game plan. I want to impose my game. Um, and yeah, but I don't want to get caught early and get emotional. My game plan goes down the pipe. I want to stay calm, stay patient, and because I believe him, I'm in great shape. I believe if I attack him uh, and am violent in, with good purpose, uh, I don't think I'll get that tagged, and uh, I think I can pose my game. Nice. Last thing for me, you had this break. Now that you're back. Is it now you want to start fighting as frequently as possible, or does it take a more like kind of slow approach to the career moving forward? We'll see. You know, I like to, to fight a lot, but uh, I'm focused on Saturday night. That's my main goal now. Um, I, I think before I overlooked my opponents, I didn't even study Jake Maddox. I never thought he had, excuse my language, the balls to strike with me. So now I'm focused on Saturday night, and then we'll see what comes after. But yeah, I do like to fight a lot often. See you in two weeks. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Andre, do you feel like you're fighting for your job on Saturday? I don't want to think about it, uh, to be honest. Um, I want to stay, like I say, patient, smart, and um, use my skills, all my skills, not just boxing. I want to, I want to be a martial artist. That's why I'm here. I want to be a world champion. And um, yeah, I don't want to think about it. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Who were some of your main training partners this camp? Um, the same crew? Uh, you know, we have a lot of, of, of people. Uh, I've tried to get, go with, with a lot of southpaws to get their tendencies. Evan Elder, um, Sato. Uh, we have some, a guy, uh, 
Dre the Bull um, is very good, a little smaller. He used to be 145, but he's big now. I've been sparring with him a lot as well. Uh, Vicente Luque is good at Southpaw. Um, yeah, all of them. So killers, just n nothing but killers. That's all we have at uh, Kill Cliff, so. Awesome, thanks, man. Thank you.